It's your boy and Guru in the house back with another bang out video. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about a special full back that was supposed to join Arsenal and he's given a, a complete better interview about it. Uh, Rami Bensi Baini has lifted a lid on his failed Arsenal transfer and Marwan Shamak friendship. Let's talk about it because the Algerian defender, who was once close to sealing a move to the Emirates, but still remembers his trial with the club fondly. In 2015, Rami Bensibaini was training and impressing with Arsenal's first team as he looked to secure a dream transfer after impressing on loan in Belgium, Belgium with Lies. Striking up a friendship with Marwa and Shamak off the pitch and working hard on it, Bensibaini was checking all the boxes to make a move possible to Arsenal. While a number of Gunners coaches liked what they saw from the young defender, his lack of European passport would sadly derail his hopes of a transfer. Though still in some doubt over exactly why Arsenal couldn't make a move happen, Ben Sibayani looks back on his brief time with the club fondly. He said, I have no idea and can give no concrete answer to this question. It came as a surprise to me as I was disappointed, but at the same time, um, uh, confident that I would nevertheless become a professional in Europe one day. I was with Arsenal's second team for a short time at the beginning and then I joined the professionals. There were training sessions almost every day. In the end, five coaches decided on my future. Four of them lifted their thumbs and would have taken me. But one of them said it was impossible to sign me because I did, didn't, did not have a European passport and didn't play enough international matches. That was an outstanding and wonderful experience for me. Especially at that time, I stayed at the hotel there. Maro and Shamak was still playing for Arsenal at the time. I had the closest connection to him. He ca all often came to see me and we did things together. Well, probably he wouldn't actually let that setback stop him because he however, eventually joined League On Club Ren in 2016. Though initially hesitant to make the move due to the weather, Al the Algerian actually sh uh, was shown well with French side and even lifted the Coupe de France in 2019. He said, it was great there. I had a great time for three years. I played regularly developed and improved. And in the end, I would even won the cup against Paris Saint-Germain. That was a sensational finish for me. So, yep. I, I, I mean, Arsenal could have had a different kind of a fullback. I, I actually advocate that he's a wonderful attacking fullback for me. But I'm not the one to decide, is it? Well, talking about more stuff, let's talk about it. Because Granit Xhaka has opened the lid about Mikel Arteta. He says... For me, one thing is certain, without him, I wouldn't be in London anymore. He was the decisive factor with his philosophy, with his manner, with his idea. I'm really grateful to him for that. And uh, talking about winning the FA Cup, Arteta, uh, Shaka says, This victory is I especially grant Arteta. It gives me him confidence, a certain security. We players saved a strange season with the last possible qualification for Europe. I can't imagine how the reactions would have been if we had missed the Europa League. He's right in one aspect, surely. And talking about the new boys that have made an impact with Arsenal, Gabriel, Willian, who have joined Arsenal, Shaka said, We have made a very good start with Willian and Gabriel. Arsenal have brought a, a lot of quality and mentality to the team. Uh, Willian knows how, the, how to win titles, and the new contract for Oba was an important signal for all of us. We want to return to the Champions League. See, that is what it's all about. Everyone, even Willian, now Shaka, everyone is talking about the Champions League, man. I'm pretty much sure that every, with Arteta, I think it is possible. But let's get our primary targets as well so that, you know, we can seal the deal. Arsenal have been told to increase their offer for Hossam Awa. While Arsenal are believed, according to Sam J. Dean, Arsenal are believed to have lodged an initial bid of around £35 million, while Lyon are understood to value the player closer to £55 million. So yes, uh, uh, £55 million and Arsenal can get their man in Hossam Awar according to Telegraph. But let's see, Sam J. Dean. So let's see. As, uh, as, as it's already underway, underway Arsenal women's FA Cup game uh, is already underway. Arsenal versus Spurs. It's already started. It's locked in nil-nil for now. While talking about more stuff, well, Sam J. Dean says, according to Arsenal's financial firepower, it totally depends on their ability to generate funds through sales. They are currently in negotiations with Atletico Madrid over the departure of Lucas Torreira and are also hoping to sell both Seat Kolasinac and Socrates. So Arsenal would want to get rid away of their Deadwood to actually make an impact in the transfer window and sign their marquee primary targets. And yes, 
Also, by another source, it is unlikely that Arsenal would be able to fund sizable transfer fees for both Partey and Awar this summer. Although, as ever, a staggered payment structure would allow them to be more flexible with their resources. Well, let's see. And uh, talking about more stuff, while well, Torino Sporting Director Vagnati confirms that Arsenal are not accepting to loan out Torreira, according to Fabrizio Romano, he says, Torreira is a top player, but his price is too high. It's difficult to sign him from Arsenal, not just for us. Also, Atleti want him on loan. Arsenal ask for permanent deal. And the biggest problem, Arsenal would prefer to sell Lucas Torreira to anyone but Atletico Madrid because of the bad blood over Thomas Partey, according to certain reports. The transfer saga surrounding the Madrid midfielder has now reportedly spilled out out in the open for everyone to see because with Torreira being dragged into the row now, the Uruguayan was uh, reportedly going to be used as a bargaining chip to get Thomas Partey but Gunners officials are so unhappy with Atletico Madrid's conduct that is now in doubt according to Mundo Deportivo. So Atletico refused to concede any ground over Partey so Arsenal could now harden their stance over Torreira. And it looks like it because Hossam Awar has agreed to join Arsenal after interest from Juventus and Barcelona failed to materialize. I already made a bid. Uh, I already made my uh, thoughts uh, outfelt for this as well. Because Freddie Paxson says, "Don't think I made it clear enough. Arsenal ideally want Partey and Awar, and for a good reason." He says, I just think that you can find what Thomas brings to the table more regularly than you can find another hour if it ends up being a choice between the two. That's what, that, would be, that, that, that is what would drive my preference. So Freddie Praxton believes Thomas Partey, because of his consistency, because of the fact that he performs day in, day out, match day in, match day out. So he would want, rather he would want uh, Thomas Partey at Arsenal. But talking about more stuff... Lucas Torreira, according to ESPN, is determined to complete a move from Arsenal to Atletico Madrid. Yes, the two clubs are reportedly close to sealing a loan move, though Arsenal are looking for a permanent move which Atletico are unsure of. Arsenal were hopeful of subsidizing a move for Thomas Partey with Torreira's sale, but the Spanish club insists that the midfielder will only leave if his release clause is met. And also, uh, just a brief update about Side Ben Rama because Fulham are competing with Crystal Palace for the signing of Brentford attacker Side Ben Rama, who was linked with Arsenal. Thirty million pound is what the price tag is set at by Brentford. So if you want your man, thirty million pounds, and he's yours. He is yours. And according to uh, another source, there is no agreement between Lyon and Arsenal for Awar, as explained by the Lyon president. Talks are ongoing, but the main obstacle was and still is the fee Lyon want. 55 million to 60 million euros. Personal terms are not an issue, and the player would love to join Arsenal. And other th other thing other thing is that Julian Lawrence gives you better and very good news right now. I've got wonderful news about Hossam Awar. Well, Julian Lawrence says Hossam Awar is the top priority of Arteta. He is his Kevin De Bruyne. My God, Mike. Okay, okay. I I know what Julian Lawrence actually meant by saying that because you know the creativity hub uh, obviously but kevin de bruyne wow whipping in whipping in the ball in wow let's see let's see if he if he could be if jose Moore could be our kevin de bruyne he said arsenal have offered 35 million euros but leo want 60 million euros now you can understand the difference of 25 million euros arsenal have already offered 35 million and uh leo want 60 and julian lawrence says i'm pretty sure they can find an agreement for a transfer fee in between. Now, I don't know uh, how much in between uh, is actually been wanting. Like, if you're talking about 35 and 60, the between number would be somewhere around 45 to 50 million euros. 45 would be the perfect bet uh, or something in between that. 45 to 50 is what I think uh, Julian Lawrence also says. He further goes on saying something around 45 million euros with add-ons will probably seal the deal. Now, this is coming from RMC. I personally believe what RMC have to say because uh, yes, it looks like 45 million euros would be fine because I'll tell you why, why Lyon would want to sell uh, Hossam Awar and they should sell Hossam Awar for that matter because uh, selling Hossam Awar would only mean that they could actually, you know, uh, uh, compensate for the fact that they don't have any European football this season. Yes, they do not have European football. If you ask me how impactful it is, it is too much because for a, for a, for a club who played Champions League football, when went to a deeper stage the last four into the Champions League last season to only to lose to um, yeah whom did they lose to uh, Bayern right they, they lost to Bayern Munich so they lost to Bayern so 
they don't have Champions League football. Obviously, they can relish all to uh, to all of the money that they actually uh, you know uh, uh, made in going into the top four into the Champions League last season. But they don't have any European football this season because the league on was cancelled and they finished seventh. So I'm pretty much confident that Hossam Awar will be sold just so that they could raise the funds. To run those kind of clubs, you need money, and I'm pretty much sure that they are valuable asset. Hossam Awar could be sold off for a decent amount of money. I think 45 million euros is a very good money, very good amount of uh, money that they could actually recover. And as long as we stretch this deal towards the deadline day, I think it will be more more uh, beneficial for us because because we could actually you know get him on a cheaper price. And Leo are really you know uh, uh, afraid to actually let that happen. So this is what I think. So this is it. This is it from me. Well, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, uh, this is it for the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came away, all the views and news and everything. But Arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice. So sit back, relax, and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers and don't forget to subscribe. New mission one, uh, thirteen thousand subscribers. Let's do it, man. Thirteen thousand subscribers. And uh, cheers. I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. We will be live tomorrow as well. Join the live. Join the fun because we're going to talk about uh, the Chelsea's West Brom game, and we're going to talk about a lot of Premier League. Uh, we'll, we will discuss about about uh, the Premier League games that are definitely going to be happening today. So stay tuned for more uh, daily Arsenal update. Cheers.